Baldur's Gate 3 has been a smash success for Larian Studios, and if you look at the game's recommended settings, you'd think there's no way that it can run smoothly on a Steam Deck. Thankfully, that is not the case, as Valve has officially marked the game as verified. Sadly, though, the default settings for Baldur's Gate hasn't given folks the best experience when playing the game. It isn't a very action-heavy game, and there are many cutscenes with the camera being up close with either you or another character. So playing the game on low or medium presets just isn't an ideal experience for everyone. Those presets could give you performance in the 45 to 60 frames per second range, but you're going to be seeing blurry textures and many unrecognizable details. So the goal of this guide is to give you a graphical settings layout that will show the best visuals while keeping the frame rate as consistent as possible in an attempt to prevent stutters and lag from spoiling your immersion. And with these settings, you should be able to hit a consistent frame rate of 24 frames per second without noticing any performance dips at all. You can even bump this up to around 30 frames per second if you lower some of these settings a bit further. And depending on your love of shadows, that would be the first thing to test. But there's also cloud and fog quality settings that you could experiment with as well. So here are the graphics settings that I'm using on Baldur's Gate 3 with my Steam Deck that gives me 24 frames per second while allowing us to play with ultra texture quality. So we're gonna go down here to display mode and change that to full screen. We're gonna make sure that VSync is disabled. Make sure that the frame rate cap is off and then we're going to set the overall quality to custom so that we can go down here and change things in the general section so for model quality we're going to set this to low distance detail is going to be changed to medium instance detail also going to be changed to medium we're going to keep that texture quality set to ultra and we're going to make sure that texture filtering is set to times 16. Next up we have the animation level of detail which we're going to keep to high. We're going to have slow hard drive mode set to off and we're going to make sure dynamic crowds are on. For shadow quality, we're going to drop this to medium. Cloud quality, again medium. And fog quality, again, all going to be set to medium. This layout is going to keep AMD FSR 1.0 set to off, while making sure the Fidelity FX sharpening stays on to enabled. Then we're going to go to the sharpness slider and put it to about 50%. For anti-aliasing, set it to TAA. Ambient occlusion is on. Then for depth of field, keep that at circular. And depth of field quality, we're going to keep on quarter. We are almost done here. We're gonna make sure God rays are kept on. We are going to keep bloom on. And the same for subsurface scattering. Then over in the audio in-game settings, we're gonna look for occlusion quality.
and change that over to medium. Now we're going to back out so that these settings do stick and you can come back in here and make sure that all of the settings that you changed have indeed stuck. After that is done, there are some Steam Deck specific settings that we're going to want to change. So go ahead and press the ellipsis button, the three dot button in the bottom right of the Steam Deck. Make sure that we are on the performance tab and then go down here and make sure that the per game profile is set to on. Then we're going to change our frame limit. And we're going to drop this down to, again, 24 frames per second. Now on the camera, you can see the picture is a little bit flickery. I'm not detecting this with my eyes, so it's something that the camera is picking up, not the naked eye. So after you set the frame limit, we're going to come down here and we're going to enable allow tearing. And that's all of the graphic and audio settings that we need to set for Baldur's Gate 3 on the Steam Deck. There's a reason why many people are aiming to achieve 24 frames per second in a game like this. Most movies today are still being filmed at this frame rate. And again, since the story is very narrative focused, this is an area that we can sacrifice a little bit in order to achieve higher quality visuals in the game. There are some other graphical presets that I can share that will be able to give you performance in the range of 40 to 50 frames per second during the majority of the game. However, once you hit Act 3 and the optimizations from Larian Studios begins to fade, seeing your performance drop into the high 20s is definitely going to be jarring. But let me know down in the comments section below if that's something you'd be interested in. There are some other popular layouts that include dropping the texture quality down to low or medium in order to hit those numbers, which may or may not be worth it for some people. If you think you have a better setup for this game on the Steam Deck, then please drop down in the comment section to share your graphic settings with us so that we can test it out. Just be sure to let us know if you're aiming to achieve higher frames per second numbers or better visuals.